Good morning, y'all. This was our campsite. You can see all the blowdowns and shit everywhere. We had to clear out these spaces. They were covered in logs and things. What a miserable fucking night. I didn't sleep at all. I literally watched my alarm go off this morning. All because of... Well, mostly because of the fucking mice. All over my food bag all night. All over my pack. Hung my food bag. Like, from my trekking pole. They were still climbing on it somehow. They were crawling under my bathtub floor. It was fucking terrible. Um, plus, it was freezing cold. Everything was wet. Just not a good night. I literally did not sleep. And <clears throat> we have 13 miles to Stahican. Where we have to try to catch this bus. Uh, if we can get a reservation made, I guess. If not, I don't know what we're going to do. Stahican's only able to be accessed by, like, this bus or walking or the ferry. It's kind of weird. And then we have to go in, do all of our chores find somewhere to stay all that so it's just going to be a rough day I'm hiking in my fucking down jacket, my sleep leggings all my warm stuff because it's freezing so I'm just really hoping that it's not all overgrown like it was yesterday but I have a feeling it might be I've even got like my town socks on and everything anything I can do to get a little bit warmer than I am right now Set an alarm for six. It's just before seven o'clock. Just getting moving. See if we can make a decent day out of this. And we can check another national park off the list. All right, we're coming up on this camp. It's just down there, it looks like. I'm on this dirt road, headed that way. So we did the 13-ish miles by noon. Um, so that's pretty good. Now we just have to figure out a way to get to Stahican. See what this situation with this bus is or see if we can figure something else out. We're down here at this high bridge camp. It's like a private residence there and I don't know, some campsites or whatever, but um, CC talked to a guy that was sitting down here. I guess this bus is coming at 12:30, which is in like any minute now. Um, actually, here it is, right here, going up. Look at that. You get it down the shorter one, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone hikes different. Yeah. Okay, so we got into this neat little town. The bus stops at the bakery on the way down here to the landing. Um, so we grabbed sandwiches at the bakery, got a coffee. Got down here, checked out the general store. We bought some souvenirs. This is probably the last place we'll have to buy some PCT swag. So we got a t-shirt and some postcards and things like that. Now I'm making my way back over to the showers and laundry. We're going to get laundry going. And uh, they have coin operated showers. It's a really neat but interesting town. I don't know. The, it's like a one, looks like a one room school almost. And the guy said that two people graduated from the school last year. I think there's 12 kids enrolled in the school like you know kindergarten through eighth grade same teacher it's really strange i don't know kind of gives me like some kind of like stephen king movie vibes being here i don't know that's the only way i can explain it but uh 
definitely need to check out. Everything's pretty expensive. Looks like the restaurant is open for dinner, so that'll be sweet later on tonight. But hopefully we can get these chores banged out, figure out where we can camp. There's a like a campground up here. Bit, like you had to like kind of boulder, not boulder, but you just had to like step on. Big All right, everyone. Sorry, I had my camera on the charger, as I'm sure you expected. But uh, I'm getting ready to go to bed. It's about 9 p.m. Had a very good dinner. Had like a falafel gyro for dinner at the restaurant here. It was so good. Um, as I was sitting there messing around on my phone this afternoon, the late bus came to drop off more hikers and Chap was on it. Since he did a different reroute than we did, uh, we actually somehow made it here before them. Um, I think by taking that one dirt road that we took, we, you know, chopped off that half a day and somehow got ahead of them. So we'll all be heading out the same time tomorrow. It was good to see him and Diesel and Lentil again. Um, so we all had dinner together, had a couple drinks, and really just sat around, talked, and that's about it. Charged all our shit, tried to upload some videos, I'm struggling with that, but uh, I'm going to do what I can. I've got nothing else to update you on. The post office doesn't open until 10, so we're stuck here at least until then, so we got to get our resupply boxes, but I imagine we're going to want to eat lunch and probably get a late start so i'll catch up with you all in the morning hope you have a good one take care